A chunky 59 gigabyte update recently came to the Xbox version of the MCC. In this video, we're going to go over all the details of what was added and what was fixed for such a large update. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps out the video and channel. Helps more people get a chance to see this video to stay up to date with everything going on in Halo. So let's get right into the video here. With a 59 gigabyte update, a lot of things were changed and added into the MCC for the Xbox community here. So let's get into the new features that were recently added in. So one feature is the new Spartan 3D customization model for CEA. If you guys go under the setting system and go under the customization, you'll be able to customize what your Spartan looks like. Right now, it's all just color because that's all the options you had back in the CE days. But the cool thing is, is being able to see your Spartan from CE in such high resolution in this game. It looks so well done. It's funny it's seeing such a game that was designed to be so low res bumped up to high res because you can definitely see like how matte and flat kind of a lot of the textures are for your Spartan in CE but it looks so cool being in such a high def resolution so that's definitely one thing you could check out there guys for your updates. A highly requested feature has been added in for your CE players as well for your multiplayer side of things so a new option for your settings to toggle between either classic combat evolved audio or comp or the updated combat evolved anniversary audio for multiplayer originally it was just combat evolved anniversary audio that was being used for the multiplayer and a lot of people were you know a understandably a little upset about that or not so upset but just kind of want those old classic feels when you're playing an old classic game so you want to play out that same audio as audio is one of the most immersive aspects of a game so i was glad to see that option personally I've tested out both and honestly I kind of like having the anniversary audio. I know that the team put a lot of effort to bring the classic audio back but honestly like the advanced audio for anniversary just sounds really good. And another feature I'm sure you guys all probably noticed when you first signed in then instead of having the noble team flash screen you have a combat evolve featured flash screen and the menu background video for CEA has covered up what it was before and oh my god dude this this new background video just looks so good i'm so, the team just nails it on the art every time with anything coming to mcc and i could just sit there and just watch this pan through just for hours on end which i probably will on stream and stuff like that so if you want to check that out link in the description down below for you guys as well and lastly a feature that was added in was the additional competitive and social matchmaking options for cea as now we have 2v2 competitive which i believe was in there already i might have just gotten a little bit of a refresh right there as well on top of having a lot of the various cha gameplay changes that were made during the flighting process have kind of come over to the matchmaking side of things as well but not a whole lot has changed there and a reminder for this update it wasn't just the xbox i got this update yes it had the big chunky update of 59 gigabytes but also microsoft store game pass users had a 1.79 gigabyte update as well as the steam users had a 306 megabyte update as well i actually thought this was only on xbox because i'm playing this mainly on pc and so when i went to go play i'm like how come i'm not finding any social matches before like on the other day i was finding them like instantly that's because my game was out of date so you had to open up the microsoft store and manage your uh, files that way to up, make sure your game is up to date on the Windows Store. I think Steam probably does it automatically if you have that option set but uh, make sure you guys up, update your game so you can actually find matches. Now there were uh, plenty of bug fixes that happened with this update as well. Nine mentioned bug fixes actually that came with this so let's jump right into those as well. So the first one is improved game stability resolving several crashes. Number two players became invisible in a ghost by boarding the vehicle while entering a teleporter. Mint Blitz showed this off. It's actually quite funny, but it's a good thing it's got uh, fixed right there. Number three, HUD positioning better reflects legacy. Four, respawn beep sound effect have a lower pitch than the legacy one. Now it's up to your standard one that you'll all remember, that classic respawn beep. Another one here, multiple remastered sound effects playing in CE multiplayer when set to classic. That's been fixed. Added ability to set primary and secondary weapons in custom games. I'm surprised that wasn't there already, but I'm glad that is. 
Uh, another one is sometimes controller vibration continues while pausing in the title screen. Uh, another one here, number eight, player name appearing during camouflage states better reflects legacy. Obviously, you don't want to have a sneaky boy coming up behind you and then and all you see is their name on top of their head. Kind of ruins the whole point of using camo right there. And lastly, plasma projectiles from type 25 spirit now align with the turret. It's nothing game changing, huge fixes that came by, but a lot of quality of life improvements and some great additions for the multiplayer side of things and also for the customization. So yeah, bringing over the using the Unreal 4 engine to show your sparring in that high definition uh, and updating your audio files are probably the big chunk of that update guys. So if you haven't updated yet, Go in, do it now while you, you're away from your Xbox or do something because that's a chunky update. But yeah, guys, that's everything we got to talk about for this update video. If you like this news informational video, please make sure to tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your experience has been playing C on Xbox. I've been mainly playing on PC, but I played a little bit the other night actually, and it plays rather well. Pretty smooth as well on top of that. And if you guys are new to the channel or miss any content from me, make sure you check out the videos on the screen right now. So make sure you tap subscribe and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.